It was up to his standards. He loved it. It was comfortable. The kids loved it. This comfortable 20,000 square foot French manor had been the home to superstar Michael Jackson and his children since January 2009. And it was very much in tune with his lavish taste and extravagant lifestyle. And never before has the public had such complete and unbridled access to this home until now. As the creator and executive producer of Beautiful Homes and Great Estates, we shot this home and I thought long and hard about sharing it after Michael's passing. And then I just saw how hard it was for people to really come to terms with it. They're standing in front of the gate, they're looking at helicopter shots, you know, we're basically looking at the air conditioning units on the roof, and I thought, you know what, this is time. It's time to take people inside so they can really connect with him that much more and see how he lived and where he lived. How he lived was like a king in a gorgeous three-level single-family home with eight generous bedrooms, 13 sumptuous baths, and 13 stunning fireplaces. I designed it for me to live in a house like that, and finally I, I moved on to a bigger house, but that particular house was one of my favorite houses I've ever built. Muhammad Hadid was the mansion's designer and Jackson family friend who built this home for his own family. That photograph was taken in my home in Bel Air. Let's test him, and he said, I want to stay in your house that one night, so I gave him the house for, for the evening, and I have a large theater in my home and they spent a lot of time there with this kid. He loved my home and that's where he wanted to live except I was living there. Michael was happy to find in Carrollwood another estate that exemplified Hadid's exquisite taste. Once inside this expansive interior space, you can't help but wonder what exactly captured Michael's heart. Perhaps it was the breathtaking 30 foot high arrival hall showcasing an 18th century Turkish chandelier or the wide formal staircase with its one-of-a-kind hand-carved banister created from two alderwood trees. Or maybe it was simply the mansion's over-the-top elegance. It was a very elegant house, very stunning. Marlon Brando's son, Miko, Michael's friend and confidant, knew more than anyone why he found this house so appealing. The way he picked a house, I mean, he liked the furniture, the architect, the layout. I mean, I believe there's a Michael Jackson taste, and he knew what he liked. And he waited to find a house that he would like. This was the house Michael would like, a home grand in every detail, and an exquisite piece of art in its own right. From the intricate hand-carved African wood moldings as you walk through every hallway of the house, to the beautifully crafted marble and stunning Russian wood floors that spill into every room. We've used the best of all the materials for that house. It's well appointed with everything from African mahogany doors, to the floors of Bavarian walnut. The estate's elaborate architectural elements were a perfect fit for Jackson's flamboyant lifestyle. The exterior alone was built with several million dollars worth of Jerusalem stone. And it had some of the most beautiful furniture that one can buy around the world. Beautiful French antiques, antique tapis carpets all over. The whole house was beautifully appointed for just a person like Michael. This was an interim residence for the King of Pop just until he finished his 50 series London concert tour. So it was a priority for him to settle in and to make this house a home for his family. He actually leased that property furnished. So it was important to him what was in it, his surroundings.